The importance of cargo and freight to the South Florida region is just going to become more and more important. The work we do here is only the beginning. I always love driving. So I thought, well, <laughs> I'm going to kill it in the trucking industry. It's a very important profession. You got to make sure all of them are locked properly. I'm very happy here doing what I'm doing. Without the trucks, stuff doesn't get moved. How important is freight to the economy? Turn Amazon off and the world is going to come to an end. FDOT is always looking to improve roads and facilities to help professional truck drivers. This can range from rest areas and truck facilities to improving turning radiuses. Our work in the Office of Modal Development is making daily pushes to improve the supply chain and help professional truck drivers throughout our district. The department will provide a safe transportation system that ensures the mobility of people and goods, enhance economic prosperity, and preserve the quality of our environment and communities. And so part of my job is ensuring that our truck drivers have places to rest, places to go, and flexibility and movement up and down our state. Professional truck drivers are the dedicated men and women that are moving our goods across Florida. My name is Brita Novak. I am the owner of Brad Cat Express. Breaker, breaker. I've been driving big trucks for 20 years. Oh, no, 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 now he's doing that. That's exactly what I try to avoid. Oh, man. That's the most. That's the universal <laughs> language of get out of the way. Actually, back up and swing wider, I can do it, yes. So you wanted problems in trucking? Well, this is exactly what happens almost daily. Sometimes everything is good, and then all of a sudden there's a dumpster. our working conditions need to be improved. That means more parking, more truck stops that are safe and well lit. That's why I am part of the Martin County Freight Transportation Advisory Committee because nothing is ever perfect in trucking. Truck parking is the biggest, biggest problem I have. So these trucks are all parked here on the side of the road. I guess they're not supposed to, but we don't have places to park. But the problem really is that there is no truck stop between Fort Pierce and Davie, which is over a 110 mile stretch of no truck stops. And we are already happy that at least the Davie one was finally opened. Before there was nothing all the way down to Miami, which is 140 miles, no truck stops. I really do love roundabouts. I. I hope our truck drivers do too. And I see that they are a very good solution to many problems. It gives us a chance to merge into it. Whereas before, we had to watch both directions and just oh, time it just right. But they need to be a little bit um, wider for us or flatter, not those big curbs. I love roundabouts. It's a perfect U-turn because you can just go around and around if you miss your... Speaking of U-turns, now here, if nobody's coming, I could make a U-turn if I have to. That helps. So if there were U-turns designed a little bit more with trucks in mind, that would help too. So 20 years ago when I started, I think months went by before I would see another woman driving a truck. Now, my God, sometimes I'm in a fuel island and we are four of us all fueling at the same time. And I'm like, that's right, we're taking over. So I am a member of Real Women in Trucking. We advocate for a lot of important things. We like to focus on the sexual harassment. If you have any problem, contact us. We gonna bat for you. These trucks are queuing up to go uh, to be unloaded in the warehouse here. So as soon as he gets a spot for them, he'll bring them in and unload them. Welcome to Tropical! 
you see, we get just about anything, golf carts, hazardous materials over here. Looks like some kind of contracting cement. Yeah, he's loading a, a pretty good sized piece of cargo there. Yeah, sometimes it barely fits, but they, they get it on there, they figure it out. We're moving cargo to people who need it. So we have around 16 ships that go to the Caribbean and the Bahamas. We take them everything they need from medical supplies to food to automobiles, everything that you could possibly need that anybody in the United States would need. Today we had almost 200 out on the street that we needed to get in to get on the ships today. So the importance of drivers, but they're, they're so important to this economy. If you have it, a truck brought it. If we didn't have trucks, we'd be in, we'd be in bad shape. In 2021, we did about 1.5 million tons of cargo. We run all night, 24 hours. All right, so what these guys are doing here is loading Frito-Lay chips. Um, into these trailers here. Now, this Frito-Lay came out of Connecticut, so it had a long travel to get here, right? So sometimes a rail and truck is used, and that's what we call the intermodal. Uh, it uses both modes of transportation, right? And they'll uh, ship it through here. We'll uh, take care of it for them. Uh, we have a lot of ships that go in and out. This, I can tell you, is going to Freeport. Freeport, Bahamas. Once they finish loading, one of my trucks will hook up to it. Okay, we're ready, all hooked up. Ready to take this load in the port and take it into the port, which is only a mile down the road. My, my name is Jose A. Rojas. I'm, I've been with Tropical for 15 years. I like driving a truck. I feel very comfortable doing it. That, this is my rosary. Um, actually, that was my aunt when she passed away like four, four years ago. She, her and I were very, very close. This is part of me. This is what keeps me trying to do the right thing all the time. When it gets to the port, they'll check it in. A crane will take the box off the wheels and the driver will pull away. And he'll get another empty and he'll, he'll come back out here. You know, and people should take very seriously the work we do and be more, a little bit more compassionate on the roads with us. So Tropical Shipping is the largest tenant in the Port of Palm Beach. We work together well and we have grown together well. We do about 400 trucks a day. Coming, and the port is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The big red things back there, they're uh, straddle carriers. A lot of people compare them to, you know, just the big red version of an Imperial Landwalker. These will carry 75,000 pounds at 35 miles an hour. What you're looking at is double stacked 40 foot containers that were brought into the port this morning on a ship and the reach stackers and the straddle carriers unloaded them, brought them over here, stacked them up on the rail and they will be pulled out of here tonight and tomorrow morning all of these rail cars will be in Jacksonville where they can get switched out to the rest of the country. The main thing that we do here at the Port of Palm Beach is we get food into the islands of the Caribbean. This holds a little over 21,000 tons of raw sugar. Oh my goodness. The sugar cane that has been grown out in the glades, it's gone through the uh, refinery out there and it's come down to this sugar right now. It's brought in in 20 ton trucks from the glades, dumped off on the other end onto a conveyor belt system. So you can see it's kind of raining sugar. That's the good stuff. Some of the projects and partnerships that we've had with FDOT in the past um, range from terminal projects to airside projects, uh, taxiways, runway rehabilitation, uh, even air cargo ramp expansion. We have two carriers here, two all cargo carriers, FedEx and UPS. We believe we're running about 2,500 tons per month on average. One of the projects that we're looking at right now that we're in the design phase for are the improvements to the access back onto the I-95 direct neck to get access to I-95. That's very important to us. Just something that will ease the movement of freight and goods out of the air cargo facility here at PBI. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. I love the word legacy because that means a lot to me. I have grown. I have become wiser. The ones who make it out here are hustlers. <laughs> It's a very important profession. Without us, there, there won't be freight to move. I can only hope to improve my community and the district. And it is a duty, if not an obligation, to leave it better than we found it. Thanks for coming by to Tropical Shipping. Glad I could show you around.
Thanks so much. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs>